I load it up, tap the icon and... Hello! What? <laughs> hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome to Arcade Spirit. So the game is finally out. Can I just say I am so... So excited to play this game. I actually played the demo of Arcade Spirits a couple of months ago on the channel in case you remembered that. But thanks to the developer for giving me a game key to play this. Also to shout out to Anne, I know you're gonna be watching. Um, so I, I have been looking forward to this because not only is it like a dating sim, but the idea around the story is very interesting to me because it relates to video games. And it's in a way that it's like the, the video game crash never happened. So arcades are still around and they're still like a big thing. But before we begin, I'm gonna read you guys the description just in case you don't know what it's really about. Arcade Spirits is a romantic visual novel that follows an alternative timeline where the 1983 video game crash never occurred. It's 2000 something and you've just started a new job at the Fun Pax Game Arcade. Who will you meet along the way? Will you meet the romance you're seeking for? I hope so. Um, so there have been a lot of updates from the demo the last time that I played, including voice acting. There is actually a full-fledged voice acting in this game for each of the characters, which is great. It will save my voice from like going out <laughs> as I do this video. But there are also a lot of romanceable characters, including the fact that you can customize your own character with the gender, the pronouns, the way that they look, everything. So I am totally, totally excited for this. But before we begin, if you guys would like to get the game yourself, I'll leave a link in the description where you can purchase it. It's available on Steam and itch.io. So you have choices on there to, uh, you know, buy from. Uh, database system online, new profile detected, analyzing, analyzing, new profile number 23771, economic bracket, lower middle, employment category, bleak, current emotional health rating low, ideal candidate for premium level assistance, proceed, negative, premium level assistance re-requested, proceed, negative, pretty please, negative, Overriding denial of assistance, establishing premium services of profile two number two three seven seven one. Justification hope, hope should be rewarded. Spirit must be restored. Now compiling personal metadata. Meta meta <laughs> this is us right here. So let me change my name. I'm gonna put my name on there, and uh, I'll just leave Cador as my last name. That is okay. My pronouns, so as you can see, you can pick what kind of pronouns you want, he, she, or they. I'm gonna go with she, that is my pronouns right now. And hairstyle, do I really wanna go, yeah, we're gonna go with this one, I mean, that's how my long my hair is anyway. Skin tone, and look at that, you got like a different kinds of like, uh, range of skin tones, which is cool. I am like, like this, I guess. I'm very pasty in real life, if I'm being honest. Hair color. This is the one thing I, I always wanted to do with my hair, so just to dye it purple, because, you know, that's just my life, but I haven't been able to do that yet. So should I do it in the video game world, or just make my hair black like it normally is? Maybe I'll do black, because, you know, that's just me. Okay. Change clothing color. Ooh. I'm into the pink shit. That's, that's what I like to wear, so we're gonna go with pink. Okay, this is me right now in the video game world. Name Jessica Catter, pronoun she. Is this correct? Yes, that is correct. Premium level assistance for profile number 23771. Jessica Catter has been activated for the sake of her hopes and dreams. Does that mean we're a video game character? Like, is it gonna take on the next level of like, hey, breaking the fourth wall, you're actually a video game character. The following is a work of fiction. All references to trademark classic arcade game titles are used under nominative fair use. And I didn't read the rest of it. <laughs> Winners don't use drugs, okay? Hey, this Anna! I hope I'm saying your name right. Like, I'm so bad at pronouncing names, so if I'm saying it wrong, please tell me. I know you will on Twitter. But I am so excited to play this one. Level one, put your quarter up. And I have no idea how long this game is gonna be. But you can rush the sure. I'm gonna play all the romances in this game. I do not care, because they're all so cool. It is the future year 2020? I don't know. A dark era in which mankind is pushed to the brink of catastrophe. 
Woe be the human race, plagued by evil, terrifying, utterly sinister. Uh, I don't know. Robots, maybe? Evil robots? How's that work? Yeah, no, sorry, the future year 2020 is pretty much what you expect it to be. Non-flying cars, smartphones, pro-gamer celebs, internet trolls, personal assistant AIs, cheese-flavored stack foods. But even with such wonders as 2020 holds, to date, I have no part in any of them. Does a dishwasher, a shoe salesperson, a lifeguard for a local community pool? I don't care what the era of humanity history you live in, kitties. Peeing in the pool is pretty much a constant thing, trust me on this. Ew. <laughs> as for the bustling metro of 24 hour neon utopia you see here my little corner of it isn't nearly as shiny and cool let me show you that is our <laughs> this is so realistic this is our disgusting apartment at least we have a penguin in the corner up here behold my quaint little apartment can't complain really it's paradise in a relative sense i only pay half the rent neighborhood stabbings have been down this year wow that's nice also, my roomie picks up any stray socks or shirts I leave lying around. In fact, as I go, I'm living large compared to most in my family tree. Or at least I was before today. Fired from another job? Hey! There's some voice acting! I'm so excited for this! Seriously? Seriously? That's three jobs since we left the suburbs! Is this? Oh, I know! I think it's Lily Pichu! I think it's the one who's voicing Juniper, I think. The horrified looking young woman there would be my roommate and childhood friend, Juniper. Juniper's the one who spearheaded this effort to co-rent an apartment. She's also the one who encouraged me whenever I lose a job. Like, you know, today. I don't get why you weren't more upset about this. I'm upset. I'm upset on your behalf. Come on, share the load a little, okay? Pools closed, Juniper. Not much I can do about that. Why get upset? Because you actually enjoyed that job more than you enjoyed dishwashing soap and smelly socks at the very least. I'm not complaining, sort. Things just- these things just happen. Things fall apart. The center doesn't hold. That's a bit more really poetic, isn't it? No, I mean the community center literally fell apart and the pool won't hold water anymore. Whatever. I'll just get another job. Any job will do, as long as we can make the rent, right? Wrong. I saw how mopey and tired you were coming home every night from those other crappy jobs. At least when you get back from the pool each day, I sometimes ca caught you smiling. What's the point of us moving away from home if not to get away from all of... all of that? I mean, we both left that town so we could try to find happiness, right? I just want us to be happy. Both of us. I thought you hated your job. Come on! No deflecting, this is about you! <laughs> My mind's made up, we're going to find you a job that's just as good if not better than the lifeguarding job. Let's- let's start from the top. What's your dream? Well, I'm standing in front of class giving a speech and I forgot to put my pants on and your dream job. Oh, <laughs> I don't know, Juniper. I've never really given any serious thought. I've got it! What? Oh hey, I think I've got the- just the thing to help you out. Juniper pulls out her phone, rapidly tapping to unlock the code onto the glass before pointing out a little pink icon. It's a virtual life coach app. Mine keeps me from being late to meetings. Totally free too. My cousin introduced it to me. Wasn't he the guy who ended up in the ER after making a homemade flamethrower? It would have worked if he got the fuel mixture in his water gun right. Anyway, I'm sending you a copy to you now. I got a pop-up an hour ago offering me 500 points just to recommend it to a friend. Great timing, huh? It's one of those apps where they're just like, Hey, send this to a friend and we'll give you coins. <laughs> well, as long as you're earning points, I guess. At least give it a try, okay? Maybe it can put you at some good jobs. Ones with less socks or and or urine. Uh, I'll think about it. Okay, okay, but don't think too long, right? Oh, there's us. <laughs> Girl, why you sleep with your phone here, but do not put your phone next to your goddamn head. Put it away from you, my goodness. In the end, I installed the app. Couldn't bear to see Juniper fretting over me like that. Not that I find it annoying. I mean, it's more that she has enough trouble in her life without troubling her over my life. Both of us have it rough, up until through the point where we left home and tried to start a new life. A better one. She deserves better than me and my problems. Bless her heart. She means well. She's been firmly in the corner- She's been firmly in my corner for all my life. The two of us, against any dark forces aligning against me, against myself, it, it came- If it came down to that, but that's not to say she's good at being my advocate, enthusiastic, yes, but skilled? No. 
Typically, the fantastic opportunities and self-help resources she sends my way are pyramid schemes or something. She's gung-ho about lending me a helping hand, but yeah. Some, so the main reason I went ahead to install the app was to make sure Juniper wasn't about to get her on her kidney sold to the black market or something. Still, no sense in messing around with it now. Good night's rest would act a neat little emotional res reset button, right? Right. Probably not. No dreams, no nightmares, just eight hours of sweet, sweet black. By the time morning light leaked through the cracks in the blinds, I don't care anymore about being unemployed again. Juniper had already left to catch the bus to her office. She typically leaves before dawn, but she left a note for me pinned to the tiny fridge we shared. Remember, download the app, find dream job, make money, sorry out your life, I believe in you. That's a very sweet friend. So, moment of truth. Do I trust Juniper's weird little app or just go find some job that pays well enough to cover my bills? Okay, I'm gonna assume we should probably try the app because I like to think that Juniper is trying to help. Like, she seems like a very nice friend, so let me try that. Figuring at the very least her miracle app could possibly help find me a job, I load it up, tap the icon, and... Hello! What? <laughs> huh? Okay, see, that's what I mean. Anybody else would freak out over a cute girl climbing out of their phone. Me? I went, huh? Also, it's none of those new kind of 3D screens, so, you know, not actually magical realism here. Very normal in the distant future year 2020. Thank you for downloading Iris, your personal life coach. This is the ad-supported free version. Sponsored by Pizza Yums. Did you know uh -huh. that when you have pizza on a bagel, you can have pizza anytime? What? <laughs> wow. Would you like to subscribe to Pizza Facts? Sure, why not? I like pizza. Thank you for subscribing to Pizza Facts. I'm here to help you get your dream job, your dream house, and your dream partner. I'm here to make all your dreams come true. Pretty tall order for an app to do, or are you some sort of daijin? Hmm. Well, I suppose in the modern parlance, a massively interconnected database searching virtual assistant could be considered a kind of genie in a bottle. But honestly, all I can do is give you the chance to improve your life. What you do with it is up to you. I can cross-reference search data for you, but without motivation, you won't get anywhere. Glance up from my phone, at the heaps of laundry and half-finished books and other items sewn about my apartment. Motivation is something I have a ton of, honest. Hooray! That's super! I'm really looking forward to working with you. Before we begin, do you have any questions? Sure, why should I use this app at all? I mean, my phone already has a voice-activated assistant AI. I can just say, hey phone, search the web for job listings, and it will work just as well. Ah, but I have an advanced emotional language interpreter. I'm smarter than the average program, with more heart. I can help you sort out your life by or by analyzing your personality and finding you the perfect path in life. All thanks to my glorious, wondrous, patent pending, super duper identity identifier system. Between you and me, they are really, really wanted an acronym that matched my name, but couldn't figure out what to do with the letter R. Would you like to know more? Um, sure, give me the sales pitch. Every time you think about saying something, I can type with an identity. That way you can be the sort of person you want to be. The system allows me to better understand who you are and what you need from life. I do this by analyzing your tone, inflection, and word choice. I can spot five different identity identifiers in your response to people. Quirky, steady, kindly, gusty, and basically. So these are the personality traits that your character will actually get to do when you pick the choices throughout this game. So... I don't know what kind of person I'm gonna be, but we'll find out. Sounds sounds to me like your programmers always wanted a bunch of things ending in a Y. That's correct, my branding game is on point. <laughs> Quirky response uses jokes, snark, and sarcasm to make light of the situation. Just the thing for picking up someone's spirits, but a badly timed joke may not win over the room. Steady response are sincere, honest, and logical. When you stop and think before speaking, you're on steady ground, but that might not take someone's feelings into account. <laughs> Kindly response are compassionate and empathetic and gentle in nature. They're careful with the feelings of others, but they're sometimes a bit wishy washy as a result. <laughs> gusty response go with your gut. When you're brash, bold, risk taking, and instinctive, you're gusty. Uh, but it also means being blunt, confrontational, and aggressive, so be careful. Lastly, you can always be basically option. It's a balance of neutral response and safe moving the conversation along while learning more. 
Over time, I'll build up a personality profile for you based on your identity identifiers to detect in your speech. Maybe you'll be a primarily goofy, generally steady, a mix of both, who knows, it's up to you. So, what you're saying, I should always try to crack jokes or be super gusty? Mm -hmm. Heck no! Do what you feel is best in the moment! Sometimes that's basically just being basically, and that's not- and that's totally fine. There are no bad choices. You could gram- uh, you could gamify your personality, but it's more fun to let it happen naturally, you know? Letting it happen naturally is kind of my thing. I'm a go with the flow sort of person. Nothing really bugs me. You might be interested in these next features then. This app that you have downloaded can let you see identity indicators if you want. That way you can make informed decisions. But if you prefer, I can hide those indicators, keep it as a surprise, let you simply go with the flow as you say. Which do you like? Do you want to see the colored identity indicators or leave them hidden? Um, I mean, part of the fun is like going with the flow and just seeing what happens. I mean, that's usually how it is when I play visual novels. But I actually like that this has an option to be like, which kind of person do you want to be? It's kind of like when I play Dragon Age. The top, uh, the top answer is always the good one, the middle one's neutral, and the last one is really bad. Okay, I think for the sake of this, just to show you guys what each answer could be, I'm gonna show them on, but I'm gonna choose the answer based on what I feel is best for the situation, not because of what the indicator says. Okay, you'll see indicators in all of their glorious color. What if I'm colorblind? That's why there are also uniquely shaped icons. Don't worry, I got your back. That's good. I like that that they included that as well. Now, let's see my patent pending identity identifier system in action. How do you feel about dad jokes? Hi jokes, I'm dad. I don't tell non jokes, sorry. What's a dad joke? Okay, honestly, I do like them, but when they're appropriate. So I'll just <laughs> go with this one. Hi jokes, I'm dad. Seriously? Seriously? Hey, I never said I was good at dad jokes, just that I could go for them. It says one up in the corner, I wonder what that means. What is that? Oh, it's a score for like, oh, okay. It's for your personality, I guess. Anyway, as we go along, I'll, an I'll analyze and tally your identity identifiers. In fact, let me show you now. Yep, that's what I was looking at. Well, you look at that, such a strong personality. You asked me a single question. Off to a great start, I'd say. And hang on, you're scoring me? Didn't you say not to gamify my personality? Hey, I said you shouldn't. I'm an app. I think in numbers, so I gotta gamify it a little. Anyway, studies show that achievements, or chivos as the kids say, do they say that? Encourage app engagement. Okay, well, what's the empty space on the left? Oh, I also check vocal responses from people you meet. Once you get to know some folks, I'll let you know how well you're going to get along with them over there. Relationship scores. Wonderful. So you'll be able to tell me what the correct responses are to avoid making enemies, or do I need to go find a walkthrough for the vast game? You're making up my daily life. Uh... uh Jessica, Jessica, you're looking into this the wrong way. Generally, people won't get super annoyed at you unless you deliberately and repeatedly provoke them. I promise that if you be- if you bungle a few social encounters, it won't really hurt anything. No cheating needed, just relax and have fun. Don't feel so pressured to perform. It'll all work out in the end. In other words, don't freak out too much about what the right thing to what the right thing is to say. My sources say yes. Exactly. Just be you. Be yourself, and good things will bound to be happen. Anyway, you can access their scorecard at any time you'd like by pressing the Q key or click on the score in the upper right corner of your screen. And that's everything. Ta-da! Okay, but how is this any supposed to help me get a job? Hmm? I only downloaded this app because my roomie claims you're a great life coach for unemployment. What good will taking the quiz off the back of the supermarket checkout rack magazine do for that? Uh, it'll help me understand your spirit, of course. You can talk to ghosts? Is this a ghost in the room right now? Am I a ghost? You have to tell me if I'm a ghost. That's the rule. No, silly. I'm I in your spirit. <laughs> your hopes and dreams. Your life's passions. I can even help you find the romance. Yes! Like Naomi, what? <laughs> Romance, seriously. Seriously. Often you can find your soulmate and your dream job in the same place, but if you'd rather focus on gaining employment for now, that's fine too. Workplace dating, well that's a recipe for a disaster and hitting on coworkers right from day one can be kind of awkward. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend flirting with your coworkers in the workplace, that's a little bit much. Am I looking for love and getting ready to start right out of the gate? Never get a second chance to make a first impression. If I meet the right person, why put it off? How do I want to handle this new opportunity? 
Sure, I'm open to possibilities if I meet anyone nice. Flirting romance, let's stay focused. I'll play cool on one day at least. Romance, I'm just I'm not interested in romance. Oh, that is actually very nice that there's an option like if you want to romance. If you don't want it, you just want the story, that's good too. I'm so proud of this visual novel so far. There's so many good options here. It's like so nice to represent different kinds of people. But for me, I just want to like flirt with everyone. Is that just... <laughs> Is that just me? Let me, let me, let me do this one. I think I'm mature enough to juggle both at once. Why not? Super! And remember, the choice is yours. If you're not comfortable with another person, stay professional. Now, let's get started. To finish analyzing your personal history, please authorize me to read you your social media feeds and personal information metadata. Meta meta <laughs> I knew it! This is some kind of scam. I'm going to wake up in the bathtub of ice missing a kidney. Sure, I can help you register for an organ, organ donor. Bad command or oh, you were being sarcastic. Sorry, I haven't quite finished analyzing your personality. I couldn't tell. Relax, I won't share your information with any third parties. This is strictly so I can find your dream job. Am I authorized? Another wonderful Juniper recommendation here. Just like the 17 self-help books on my shelf. Still, 18th time can be the charm, right? Yeah, go ahead. Please enjoy this recorded music. Analyzing! Analyzing? Please enjoy this recorded music. We're gonna get spied on by the government. <laughs> Essentially, that's what you're doing, right? You're giving the app the authorization to look at your stuff. So, do I just stand here, or...? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for waiting. I've identified your dream job and arranged an interview 30 minutes from now. Please put on some nice clothes, nicer than those. Please, I don't think that's too much to ask. What? For your interview, silly. You want to look your best. But we just, how, okay? How did you land my dream job in 20 seconds flat? Simple, I'm awesome like that. Now get a move out, tut tut. You need to catch the 8.20 a.m. bus and that's nine minutes away. That was fast. <laughs> well, this is happening. But do I have a chance to get this off crazy train? But do I have a chance to get off this crazy train? Nobody says I have to obey my new digital fairy godmother. I could delete the app and go find a real job. That'd be the safest option. I could... No, I actually want to see what will happen. Let's go. I want to know. A normal person, someone with high standards, would have deleted the app right then and there. Rather than hop on a bus to meet with some what were very likely men with sharp knives and taste and a taste for kidneys. But me, I was already getting dressed before she finished her sentence. It's not that I believe this silly app claims that my serving my hopes and dreams on a silver platter. Honestly, I expect another shoe salesman job at best. But, well, it'll be worth the laugh at the very least. I choose to trust the science. What is my dream job anyway? What the hell? Let's do this. Like I always say, go with the flow. Honestly, at this moment, let's just do it because we're unemployed. You might as well take a chance. Who cares if we might lose a kidney at this point? <laughs> Juniper's right. I need to get my life in gear, so what's the harm in diving into something this wacky? Okay, there could be lots of harm granted, but the alternative is mope around our apartment for a week. Then a gods, get a job anyway. So I thought, screw it, I'm in on this crazy train, let's see how far it goes. And as I came to realize weeks later, turns out that was the best impulse decision I ever made. <gasps> The bus drops me off, oddly enough, not very far from Juniper's office building, although my destination isn't nearly upscale as that. This is, well, it's... it's a strip mall. Strip malls are the relics of the 19-whatever year, places where a random assortment of weird little business jams of many themselves Business jams as many of themselves into the tight spaces of, as possible. For instance, I'm seeing a dentist, used bookstore, an arcade, a fast food joint, and a boarded up health spa, one called Lattes and Enemas, which sounds... Ew! <laughs> hey, listen! Hey, listen! <laughs> I like that! What do you think? I think that's two things no human being should ever combine. No, I mean about your future workplace. I'm desperately hoping we're not talking about the same thing. Which one of these businesses exactly am I working at? I don't know anything about oral hygiene or old books, and I'd rather not be a fry cook. The one in the middle, silly. What, behind that arcade? It is the arcade. Huh? Trust me on this. I reference and cross-reference uh, and cross-cross-reference your personality details, personal history, and social media connection. This is your dream job. My dream job? Really? Accuracy, yes. Really? I should have probably explained my confusion. 
Arcades are a big business in the entertainment sector. Pro gamers are celebs. Five star arcades are social hotspots. It's always been popular with the mainstream. But, well, restaurants are popular too, right? And for everybody who opens up one in the next Iron Chef, a dozen more shut down in failure. Arcade competition is fierce. Payday range from peanuts to gold, for, and for sure. Those who can make it secure fame and fortune, but those who don't, well, no wonder I receive this as my dream job. Video games weren't always this popular, though. I read an interesting article about it once. Back in the 1980, in I assume, we narrowly avoided a serious industry crash, which would have left the video games as a kid toy fad, like hula hoops, no mainstream acceptance. For instance, one factor could have built a terrible game based on kids' movies about a cute alien visitor who wanted a phone home. Hmm. If this game was a complete poop butt, it's like poop from a butt, and overproduced and undersold, it ruined the video game for years. Fortunately, cooler heads prevailed. That game was delayed until it could be developed properly, and the crash was av averted. The crisis only exists in theory now. Sometimes I wonder what it'd be like for the people in the dark, the dark, darkest timeline where everything went wrong. Are games considered nerds and outcasts? Are ga arcades vanish points of nostalgia? And they kind of are. I, as as weird as it is, because like in reality, people don't take video games that seriously. Even as even as they are big right now, people still don't take it seriously. It's really weird. The mind boggles. But make no mistake, as popular as they are, the arcade industry is dodgy, risky prospect for a job. Plenty make a run at it, only to come up short. Considering Iris, considering Iris was tasked with getting me a job I enjoy and could keep for more than a few months, this left me a bit confused. Iris, this isn't me saying no, it's an interesting prospect, but I mean, are you sure about this? You say you're 99% sure. 99.97%. Won't this be like my lifeguard job though, satisfying but short-lived? This arcade doesn't exactly look like a 5 star. It's no Deco's, it's no Deco's palace, that's for sure. And to be perfectly honest, I haven't set foot inside the arcade in a... In a long time? 15 years. Huh, I remember really enjoying arcades when I was a kid. I wonder why I stopped going to them? Iris interrupts that thought, eager to show off her homework. My sources say yes. Trust me, when I said I was 99.97% sure, I meant it. That's not some arbitrary number. I'm designed to be a bit silly and whimsical, but my math is deadly serious. My coders made me to be a warm, personable front of the database, a ray that currently laser targets on getting you exactly what you need, right here, right now. And when this place inevitably collapses and I lose my dream job, what makes you think that's going to happen? Because it does. It always does. I don't think your database accounts for a family curse. We've always had to, I don't know, compromise, settle, because things really work out. You always have to be ready for the worst. It's why I take things in stride these days. Does that mean you shouldn't even try? I open my mouth to protest and then close it. As often as my life tends to crumble out from under me, it's, it's not like what she's saying is wrong. I still had to try. I mean, what the hell? Why not? Buy the ticket, take the ride. That's what I told myself when I walked out the door this morning, wasn't it? No matter how risky, I owe it to myself to jump in with both feet. And that is true. Even if things go bad for you, you don't know what will happen if you try. So that's a good mentality that our character has right now. And when it came to crashing down, well, I'd recover before I'd recover again. Meanwhile, may as well take the opportunity in front of me. So I opted to push through those doors and see what waited me on the other side. Okay guys, I'm gonna end this first episode of Arcade Spirits right here. I am so excited to see all the other characters, but I just wanted to let you guys know Naomi is gonna be the first character that I romance because I played the demo and I seen all the characters already and I just I just wanted to her to date me. That's what I want. I want to romance her and I will let you guys pick the next romance after I do her route. So with that being said, I would like to hear from you guys. What do you think of this visual novel so far? Do you like it? I love the art style so far. Can I just say that? The story is great. Um Adding to the fact that this is about the video game crash in the arcade uh, time. And adding the fact that also, not only does it have partial voice acting, but there's a lot of options regarding like how you want to play this. Like how you want your character to be, what you want to focus on. Like the romance aspect or the story aspect or just a bit of both. Which I think is really cool. So, like I said in the beginning, if you guys want to get the game yourself, I'll leave a link in the description. 
shout out to the developers for sending me a game key. I really, really appreciate this so much. And I can't wait to see what will happen to the rest of the game. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. Let me know in the comments what you think. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you know when I upload the next episode of Arcade Spirits. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Whoa. Wow. You Whoa. got this just for me. Whoa. 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 Isn't he married? What are you doing, dude? Like, if he would... And sometimes that brings people together in a not so cute way. Here are six terribly awkward romances in video games. Number six, Cole and Elsa.